G'day everybody, welcome back to Valheim. I believe we're on episode 38, something along those lines. But uh, anyway, let's get to it, shall we? We did discover the swamps a couple of episodes ago, uh, but then promptly stopped doing anything about it and uh, played around a little bit with the carve uh, instead. Uh, and that was very, very interesting, but uh, at the moment I'm sort of thinking that we don't really have a purpose to use the carve, aside from maybe just getting to other islands or continents. So perhaps maybe uh, doing any adventuring with the carve is a little bit too early. Maybe we should actually uh, do what we need to do at the swamp. So. Uh, I am sort of waiting on some poison resistance uh, to finish fermenting here. I'm not entirely sure how much longer that's going to take. So uh, we'll wait uh, a tiny bit more for that. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, maybe it might be a good idea for us to sort of play around with uh, building things that we need to build here at the house because uh, a lot of you guys are sort of stressing out <laughs> about how we don't really have a gate there and uh, yeah I'm, I'm feeling you guys <laughs> and also uh, we might need to make a little bit more space for uh, I guess animal husbandry so I'm not entirely sure if you can have any other types of animals aside from boars but we should perhaps maybe prepare our house to receive uh, some boars. Uh, so I'm thinking perhaps maybe we do need to extend a little bit further out this way. Uh, so that's essentially what we're going to do while we wait for our uh, our food to finish fermenting. Well is it even food? I think it's just um, you know potions and stuff. So. Let's get to it. Uh, do we have the materials we need? Well, not really. We've got a little bit of wood there, but we can always pick up some more. We've got plenty of wood stacks. Let's try and take some of this down. And I'm thinking uh, what we'll do is we'll actually just uh, extend the farm on this side. Uh, I think we might be out of range from a a workbench. Let's just pop a workbench down here just so that we can continue a little bit more. Yeah, in terms of goals for this episode guys, I'm definitely wanting to go into the uh, the swamp and to be able to explore the swamp a little bit more. So that is the goal. But I'm not ready unless I've got some poison resist. At least one batch. Uh, I don't know if we're going to wait for a second batch because I feel like the fermenting does take a while. Uh, so we might not be able to wait for a second batch in this episode. I am starting to think of whether or not we do want a couple of fermenters. Now I know I said uh, that perhaps maybe we don't need a couple. But I'm sort of changing my mind uh, on that front. So we'll need to have a think about that. Uh, what's making things very heavy? Okay, it's all this wood. Uh, temporarily, let's put some wood down. Uh, and we can then pick up some stones. And we'll use these stones to do what we need to do with the soil here. Now, am I going to raise it? Uh, yes, slightly. Not completely though. Uh, I sort of want a little bit of a step going on here, so let's see what we can do on that front. So a little bit of soil there. We're probably going to have to top up some soil here and there, but you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a process as usual. Um, all right. So now let's try to level 
the ground a little bit more. Yeah, so a little bit uh, uneven here, so we're going to have to definitely add a little bit more soil. But this is looking good to start. Probably going to get rid of some of these rocks over here. You know guys, I am a little bit concerned about getting attacked though, because uh, as you know that hasn't happened for quite a while. I'm expecting an attack sometime soon. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't want to go overboard and, you know, get rid of this rock as well. Uh, I sort of like keeping uh, elements of the natural environment close by. Uh, hence why I don't really, you know, destroy, like, swaths and swaths of trees. And, uh, in fact, I, I don't even sort of uh, take down every single tree that's able to give us fine wood all in the one go, because, uh, yeah, I, as I said, I, I like keeping some parts of the, the, uh, the natural environment around. So let's continue the process here. I think this is sort of the right height that we're aiming for. Definitely don't want to accidentally, you know, destroy the crops either. So, just got to be careful on that front. Um, okay, so I think we can just maybe... Uh, maybe we'll, well, I was thinking of maybe just doing the, the fencing first, but then maybe I should sort of level the, the soil a tiny little bit more. Uh, before doing that. So let's add a little bit more here. Just where all the, the holes are. Okay, that looks decent. Yeah, not sure about this part here, which is sort of jutting out a tiny little bit. We might need to sort of fix that up, but uh, let's not get too carried away with the shape for now. Let's just make sure that everything's flat. So, yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, I think the terrain mechanic in this game can be intimidating at first, but once you sort of understand and get the hang of it, uh, plus I've, I've got you guys to thank for a lot of tips and tricks on uh, how to do it properly, but once you really understand it, it's not too much of a big deal. So that's looking really nice, if I may say so myself. Um, now it's a matter of just getting all of the fencing back around, uh, and we shall do that. Uh, got quite a lot of stones here. Perhaps maybe if I just quickly put the stones away for now. Uh, let's pick up the wood, and sorry guys, I'm just alternating here between checking this and the, the fermenter. The fermenter is still not done, <laughs> so <laughs> gotta wait for that a little bit more. Yeah, definitely gonna get another fermenter, guys, 100%. Uh, I will do that. Um, Alright, so let's get these fences back up. Because uh, I feel like if we do get attacked, we probably definitely want these fences in place.
Okay. So I'm I'm sort of going for a little bit of a a curved design at the very end. Maybe it's a little early for that. Maybe we'll extend it out a tiny little bit more. This is sort of floating right now, so we're gonna have to fix that. Um Can I just do one that that sort of does that, like makes it a little bit lower? I don't know. I don't know if that's even a good idea. It might not be a bad idea. Let me let me just try that. Still trying to make things look nice though. And not too janky. If I do that, yeah, that improves the integrity a little bit. So now I should be able to sort of snap on this lower fence. I said snap on this lower fence. Yes, that that's that's it. It's more like it. Alright, and Come on. Okay. Uh hmm. I'm not sure guys. I think I'm I'm just gonna keep it maybe the same height. Okay, looks like we're not going to be able to get away without adding some more soil on this side. That's okay, uh, we will get to it. Let me just get rid of some of these and then we'll just work on this side first. Okay, does that look decent? Um, I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure. Um, maybe I'm just gonna straighten that out a little bit more. Okay, we've ran out of wood. Uh, so, maybe this is a good chance for us to just grab the stones again and continue with adding a little bit more soil on this side. So, there we go. Okay. Uh, we can probably straighten it out a little bit later. Uh, let's maybe grab some more wood. Okay, finally those wood piles are coming in really useful. <laughs> Don't have to keep going out to try and get some more wood. Um, so we do something like that. Move that around a little bit.
Okay, so a question I have for a lot of you guys who are experts at Valheim. How do you address uh, this sort of unevenness between your uh, your fences? Like, do you just have to basically live with it, or what's the deal there? Because, yeah, it just feels really awkward uh, when we're trying to, you know, close off the fence. In fact, that's a problem that we still have uh, at the front as well, right? So I do want to put in a gate, but I'm having trouble actually, you know, uh, getting the gate constructed properly. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if you guys have a, a solution for that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna see if I can follow along this side from this way instead. Uh, and I'm just gonna see if at the end of the road, when we get to the entrance, whether or not we can actually make ourselves like a proper entrance way. Because if we can, that would be nice. Oh, ran out of wood. Okay, we're really cutting it fine here with the wood. Okay, uh, this could be a problem with our, our seeding carrot crops, actually. So, I just want to redo this a tiny bit. So I probably just want to go further out like that. Yep. And then we can try and straighten things up. I have a feeling we're going to have to do this for the entire uh, fence. Come on. Alright. There we go. Yeah, getting things to snap is not the easiest thing to do in this game. get rid of that wood pile. Okay, so we're here. Um, 
I'm just going to take a look at the gate. Uh... Let's just put one more and let's test out the, the gate once more. Okay, does that... is that even... <laughs> okay, all right, uh, we've, we've got a gate, but it's janky. Uh, are, are we satisfied with the jank gate? Uh, maybe for the time being, maybe for the time being. Let's just quickly check on our poison resist here. Okay, it's still fermenting, guys. It is taking a lot longer than I expected. Um, let's go back and inspect our handiwork here. So, it is a little bit dark to do that though. We, let's just place down a few torches, just so we can see what we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna leave this area without a torch for a second because I feel like uh, we're probably gonna bring some boars through here and they may trample on some of our crops so that's just a little bit of a concern that I have currently okay nice uh, let's continue to level a tiny little bit more So we've already fixed the floaty uh, fences over here, so that's fine. Uh, all of these other fences are looking pretty good as well. I think the only thing that feels a little bit floaty is what's going on here uh, at the gate. So, I'm just going to see if I can fix that up a tiny little bit. Okay, not bad. Now, I'm still not entirely sure how to build ramps, guys. Some of you guys mentioned to actually put shift or press shift to do that. Uh, but I'm not really seeing a difference. Anyway. That doesn't look so bad. Let's just close the gate once more. Yeah, that, that's decent actually. So happy about that. Uh, might be a good idea to put one more torch in front here. Maybe we'll just move this one as well. Okay, need a little bit more resin. Right. Looking good. So I was thinking whether or not we should wait for these carrots to completely mature before bringing the boars through. Uh, might not be a bad idea, but anyway, uh, I think for the boars we're also going to need some kind of fencing, right? So uh, I am not 100% sure how that works either, but 
we might as well play around with that right now. Well, I mean, we're going to need to work it out before the boars come into play anyway. So, uh, yeah, let, let's do that. And... Are we saying that we just have to sort of... Do something like that? Is that it? They don't snap? Maybe? Huh. Um... <laughs> Not sure how that works, guys. Um, is there anything else that we can construct to keep pores in? Probably not. I'm hearing stuff. There are enemies here. Okay. I'm going to uh, get the fencing in how I think it works. <laughs> but guys, if you've got advice on uh, fencing for the boars, let me know. Because uh, at the moment, I'm sort of just doing what I think might work. Uh, which may be completely off. I really don't know how much space we need for these boars, actually, but... Assuming that we only have, like, two of them in here, I think this should be enough space for both of them. Hopefully. Definitely hear those graylings out there. Yeah, this is looking super janky, guys. Just saying. Can't seem to get the right angle either. So the other thing is, what, what I'm not entirely sure of right now is 
uh, like how do we, uh, is there a, a gate that we can use for, uh, you know, fenced off areas like this, or do we just have to sort of build a, uh, like another, another fence in between, like, I'll, I'll leave it open for now, that way we can get the boars in there, but I'm not entirely sure if there's a, a more proper way to get those boars in. Yeah, super, super jank. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we'll, we'll see. This, uh, this is a little bit of an experiment, guys, so, um... And at least this will sort of give us a little bit of an activity to wait for the fermentation to complete. Ooh, actually, it is done. So, we've got our poison resistance mead. Let's actually add another batch in there. Uh, I don't think that batch will actually complete by the end of the episode, this episode. Uh, what happened to one of our seeding carrots? I think maybe... I may have accidentally destroyed it, but anyway, uh, we should be able to also harvest all of these carrots. So let's just do that right now. Now, uh, ooh, actually, they're not all ready. My bad. Righto. So, uh, in terms of, oh, that's ready and are you going to be ready soon? Maybe not yet. I'm just going to keep, uh, our produce in here and, uh, that way we can sort of come back and do the farming. Uh, a little bit later, but I do want to get boars in first, just so that uh, if some of our crops do get trampled on, uh, you know, it's not going to be a problem because there's nothing in the soil currently. But uh, yeah, I think we should actually get into the swamp right now because we've got what we need for that. Uh, and really is all, all we need to do is actually just make our way there. Uh, to do that though, I want to make sure that we've also got a portal set up very close by. That way we don't have to sort of keep running around every single time we want to, uh, I guess go to the swamp. Do we have enough food? I think so. We're going to have to eat a little bit more right now. But I still think this is enough. Uh, we need more fine wood. And we need more... Well, that that's probably about it. We just need to bring... Our Sertling Paws and our Grey Dwarf Eyes. Uh, I think that should be enough. Let's just repair stuff. Uh, fine wood. Yeah, let we we should stop to uh get some more fine wood before we reach the swamp. But we will carry the, the two that we have here, so that's fine. And 
Yeah, I think we should be able to just use the... The copper mining portal for now, just to cut a little bit of the time to get there. Alright, cool. Let's go on this expedition. Um, sure, we could be growing stuff, but... Mm, yeah, I'm thinking maybe after we get the boars in. I'm not sure if we will actually be able to get the boars in this episode, guys. But at the very least, we have prepared uh, for when those boars are, uh, you know, re ready to be brought home. Um... I don't know. Uh, some people are saying that it's easier to just let the boars chase you all the way to the home and then you can feed them mushrooms when you actually get to like their, their designated pen or area. Okay, a little bit more fine wood is required. Let's go with this one. Not sure if I should be bringing my cart. Probably, probably a good idea, but uh, I think I'm keen to just discover what's there in the swamp first before we start going there with a cart. Because uh, we mustn't forget that it does take us a very long time to move around with the cart if we did decide to sort of bring heaps of stuff back. But anyway, uh, let's make our way there and uh, yeah we might as well use the ichthyr buff right now because there's going to be a lot of running I probably don't even have like the best food uh, with me right now I just have some poison resist which is going to be critical hopefully uh, I guess our, our health bar is long enough and our stamina bar is also long enough for uh, what we're trying to do but you know this will be a good learning experience if uh, things are very very tough to deal with then we know for certain that we're gonna need to go in there with some better foods than what we've currently got We've got a whole bunch of cooked deer meat, which we could convert into deer stew as well, right? So that's a, another thing that I could consider for a little bit more health. Wow, okay, this uh, tower is actually built up a little bit more on the outside. Interesting. Look at that. Yeah, this is the sort of home that I really would like to build one of these days. But obviously we, we don't have the ability to build with stone just yet. Hmm, okay. No chests, but uh, I will put down a marker here. Just call it structure for now. Okay, let's keep going. Might need to sort of swing this way a tiny little bit. Won't say no to carrot seeds.
Now, when we were there at the swamp the first time, uh, one of the things that I did immediately was I tried to cut down uh, one of the ancient trees, and that didn't really do anything, but apparently uh, I just chose the wrong tree to do it on, because uh, apparently you can cut down some of those ancient trees, so I'm keen on actually doing that uh, when we get there. Provided that there is nothing too dangerous there, obviously we're going to have to defend ourselves first and foremost. Grab that. And another decent structure here as well, with more skellies and brutes and whatever. Let's keep going. Okay. Nest right here. Do well, I want to just... Uh, I, wa I was going to put down a, a map marker for the nest, but... That's okay, I'll, uh, I'll let that one slide for now, because, you know, it's next to the structure anyway. I'm sure we'll come across it again at some point. Okay, I think we've sort of overshot it a little bit. Another troll cave, I think this would be. We may as well put this marker down as well. So if we're looking for some more troll hides, we can go there. Yeah, keen on getting more upgrades for our current armor set. Yeah, see, this is the way the the things are set up uh, in these old settlements. So I'm guessing we are possibly maybe doing it wrong. <laughs> I was going to say right, but uh, actually we, we sort of just need to sort of line them up uh, facing the same way. So, yeah, anyway. Didn't, didn't think of that, so I'll uh, I'll have to go and fix that when we eventually get to looking for boars. But anyway, I'm just letting go of uh, a few things here that I don't think we'll need. Bones, I suppose we do need bones every now and then. Anyway, ah uh, yeah, I uh. I also forgot, guys, uh, someone had suggested making some fire arrows before going into the swamps. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> that's not happening. Uh, but maybe we can try and remember that for the next time that we try to go into the swamps. For now, I'm just sort of testing the waters. I mean, the previous time we were there, you could say it was testing the waters, potentially. But we were definitely not prepared, so now we are. So I'm testing the waters even more. I'm probably going to need to make like heaps of space for stuff that I really, really want. Anyway. So, uh, this is the home that we found the other day, which could be worth converting into some kind of outpost to visit the swamps. Uh, so over here, I might actually set up our portal. I haven't had a situation where the portal's been attacked by anything before, but, uh, anyway, it could happen. Let us set up a workbench, maybe indoors, that way we can sort of repair stuff as well. But since we've got that set up, now we should be able to just set up a quick portal as well. Yeah, 
That, that seems fine. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to need to tag this one when we get to... Uh, well, when we get back home. We'll, we'll tag this one right now and call it Swamp. And... Yeah, I hope this thing stands, because... Uh, it is sort of out in the middle of nowhere. We're not going to be able to defend it. Um, yeah. Anywho. We can always pick up the materials if it does get destroyed anyway, right? So... Okay. Swamps. Let's see what you've got for us. So we've got eight minutes on all of our foods still, so that's fine. Come on then. Yes. Okay, good stuff. So, no issues with poison just yet. So the Draugas don't really give you poison, which is good. These leeches, though, are a different story. Uh, and yeah, we haven't exactly been, like, too far into, um, into the swamp. Um, got ancient trees. And, yeah, the advice given to me is that I should try to cut down one of the ancient trees. Here we go. They have a little bit more success here. So that's going into the water. I'm not happy about that. Okay, 15 seconds of poison. Uh, let me just take a look at... Oh my goodness. Alright. Um, got problems. Problems. Okay. Can someone start playing the Benny Hill music right now? Ah, uh, all right. Wow, these guys are strong. Ooh, okay. That was very dangerous. Ooh, okay, uh, we've got Drago trophies. I'm not entirely sure about that. I um, suppose we've never seen one before, so we may as well carry some Drago trophies. Leech trophies, okay. Uh, I, I really don't know if the trophies are the, the most worthwhile to keep carrying. Um, Poison resistance mead. You take less damage from poison. Damage modifier. Very resistant versus poison. So, so it says fortifies you against poison. So, I assume that you need to drink it before you actually fight something that's going to give you poison damage. But. You know, feel free, uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the way I'm thinking about that, guys. But let's have one. 
So that gives us 10 minutes of poison resist. So hopefully it works out for us. Okay, um, so that just gave us some wood, guys. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was so special about cutting down these ancient trees. I can give it a go for another one, I suppose. Okay, I saw something there. Uh, let's drop some of these things. Ancient bark. New recipe. Bonfire. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's very cool. Alright. Um, I hope I picked up all of the, the ancient barks that we managed to find or, you know, produce from the ancient trees there. I have no idea what that is though. Some kind of glowing tree. Looks a little bit ominous. Okay, so I assume it's probably a good idea for us to try and get rid of some of these leeches. Radio. Um, plenty of blood bags. This is a little bit deep, though. I'm not sure about it, guys. <laughs> Let's have some of our better food here. So that's going to give us a little bit more health. Uh, let me do another thing here that should help us out. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking perhaps maybe we want to set up a tiny camp uh, at this house and we can probably get our comfort level up a little bit just to reduce some of the debuffs that we've currently got. I think being wet is going to be unavoidable in the swamps unfortunately but at the very least we can try and keep ourselves warm and stuff so uh don't have stone great uh easily remedied i think so what i might do is just leave that for a second and yeah, we'll see if we can just gather some stones right now. Uh, can't remember if that's enough. Actually, it is. Alright, let's get a campfire going. And... Yeah, that should give us a little bit of comfort.
Okay. So, comfort level 3, uh... If we put in a rug here, we could potentially get uh, a little bit more comfort as well, but that's okay. For now, uh, I think this will do us fine. Uh, so that gave us a 10 minute rested buff. Um, let's pick that up. Uh, is there anything that we can maybe let go of for the moment? I don't know. I, I feel like we do need everything. L let's just uh, continue on and we can keep stuff here, right? And then, you know, we can always come back for stuff. We just need to remember that some of this stuff is here. Okay. Let's do this again. Uh, so I'm aiming for that tree over there. Hopefully it is something. Uh, just because it, it does look sort of glowy and stuff. Hey guys. Uh, the Draugurs and the Graylings, they don't get along, right? So, assuming they won't really come in here. Well, I guess they, they do. <laughs> Do we have any leeches that we need to deal with? I'm not entirely sure, but... I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable here, guys. Guck sack. Uh... Okay, we're gonna take damage here. Not great. Okay, my goodness. Alright, we almost died in that process. How do we even get to that though? Maybe we're gonna need a... Oh my god. What the hell is that? That's not Odin, is it? Um, but yeah, I I'm thinking we probably need the carve around here. Or maybe we can even just craft a, a raft instead. Since it's a, a very close distance. Okay, so that that's definitely terrifying. <laughs> Whatever that thing is. Maybe I can aggro it so that it comes this way. And that way we we won't sort of have to deal with anything else. Is that a thing? A wraith. Okay. Very terrifying. Ow. Hey, f fight each other. Just... Yes. Okay, good. And meanwhile... Even the brutes don't like him. Yes. Nice. Okay. Our first wraith kill. Now what do we get from wraiths? Chains. Okay. Uh... Uh, okay. I didn't get to see all of that, but... <laughs> we're gonna have to go back home and, uh, and discover what all of that was about, but... 
Anyway. Uh, we don't have any more poison uh, resistance, so just got to keep that in mind as we progress further. Okay, more Draugas. Right. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this map only has a very small section of the swamps uh, because I'm not seeing anything else past here, guys. Uh, we might actually have to use the car of after all to try and maybe make our way to different islands and perhaps maybe ones that are entirely the swamp biome because I'm not seeing any direction that we can sort of go into because even here we've already sort of returned back to to the normal biome so okay uh I don't know about keeping the the teleporter there now, guys, because it could be a little bit pointless to keep it there. Hmm. I don't mind keeping all the other stuff that we've got in there currently. As you never know, we might need to return. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we are in the center of the entire 10th uh, world, I suppose, so maybe we do just need to venture out and see what we can find. So, uh,. I don't think there's a way for us to be able to sort of use the uh, the portal right now. Uh, but I don't want to let go of too many things. Just wanted to make sure that we get the settling cores and the fine wood. Um, Alright. Cool. I think we're going to have to head back, guys, because... Uh, I think these swamps are a dead end. Uh, iron chains. Okay, we need to get more iron chains from wraiths, but... There was literally only one wraith in there. So... I don't think this swamp is a viable place to actually uh, find more of them. Uh, I suspect, guys, we may also need to keep venturing south. Uh, so I was sort of thinking, you know, with the carve, we could potentially venture further north. But considering where the swamps are, I think it's better for us to take the carve and maybe swing it around to try and get towards the swamps that way. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Alright. But uh, anyway, I, we're going to have to continue that in the next episode. Uh, so in the next episode we'll do a few things. We'll uh, obviously prepare a little bit more, uh, you know, poison resist and stuff like that. But also, uh, we're going to try and get our very first boars, uh, so that we can start farming those boars. Uh, and considering where we are, I might do a quick stop over here to try and get some more, uh, bees, so that we can make another apiary. Uh, and yeah. Hopefully we've got the time to actually jump onto the carve and then actually make our way further south. Uh, I'm just not entirely sure if that's the most effective way or whether or not we should just, you know, uh, destroy the carve here and then make one over here. Because that's also an option, right? 
I don't know. We'll see how we go, guys. I'm, I'm still undecided, but uh, I'll eventually work it out. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.